Hi, I'm Aaron Rabinowitz, and while I'm not a musician, I'm actually a visual effects artist and a software designer of visual effects tools. I love exploring technology used in the creative fields. And as I've been exploring virtual instruments, I kept seeing the term legato used a lot as a marketing bullet point, but I didn't understand what it was or why it mattered. So if you're in the same boat, let's explore legato virtual instruments together and get an understanding of why they're so important in creating digital performances that sound just like the real thing. In music, the term legato refers to a musical performance technique that produces fluid, continuous motion between notes. In musical notation, it might look something like this, where we see several musical notes with a curved line above or below them, almost like a musical parenthesis. This curved line tells the performer that every musical note within this legato curve should be played continuously and smooth together. Now, legato is a very broad term that covers several different techniques of connecting notes, and it varies across instruments, both real and virtual. But at their most basic, legato virtual instruments are designed to realistically connect the digital notes from one to the next in different ways that emulate a real legato articulation. From a technical perspective, legato works something like this. Every sample has an envelope that includes the beginning attack, the middle, and the end release. Legato virtual instruments don't restart or end the note, but rather connect the middle of the notes together in different ways. If a virtual instrument is described as true or real legato, that means that the audio samples of the connection have been recorded, whereas scripted legato uses an entirely digital method of making those connections and often doesn't sound quite as real. Okay, now let's look at some real world examples of legato virtual instruments. Here I am working with Audio Imperia's solo cello. When I transition between notes, you can really hear the connection. This kind of pronounced legato is called a slurred legato, and with strings, it means fingering to different notes without changing the direction of the bow. But there's more than one kind of legato, and in fact, the solo cello combined instrument lets you use a MIDI controller or the key velocity to switch between two different types of legato, so you can get both the sound of a slurred legato or a legato played where the bow has changed direction. And legato isn't just for string instruments. You can also play legato articulations on wind instruments such as horns. So for example, here as I play the solo French horn legato fingered, you can really hear the slurring between the notes. For French horns, there's also a tongue legato, which in a real performance is the musician using their tongue to create just the ever so slightest break between notes for a different kind of attack, but still having the notes transition without a real break between them. Honestly, there's nothing like a good slurred legato to make the horns sound sad and mournful. Even notes played in a standard C chord can end up feeling reflective or like a little bit of a downer. Oh, and something I should have mentioned before, generally the way to trigger a legato connection is to have the notes slightly overlap. Otherwise, they'll be played separately. So in this example, Here's where the notes are entirely separate. But if I change things and I have them overlap even just slightly, you can really feel the difference. And the legato technique even applies to vocals. For example, as I play this legato choir from the Metropolis Arc series, as the notes overlap, you can really hear that beautiful melisma, that vocal slide as the singers move from note to note in one breath.
That is beautiful. And as great as that is, I think the melisma of a legato vocal patch especially shines on soloists. Here I'm using Orchestral Tools Solo Opera, and it's very convincing. And not to get sidetracked, but if you're looking for a wide variety of legato vocal soloists, you should check out the Ethera Gold series, such as the Sahara Voices, which includes different Middle Eastern vocal techniques between legato notes, and man, does that sound awesome. So as you can see, legato articulations can be the difference between a song that sounds digitally produced and one that sounds real and natural. Now a clever observer may have picked up on the fact that up until now, all the music I've played was monophonic, that is a one note played at a time, well except for the slight overlap used to trigger the legato performance. And in fact, I did that because for most legato virtual instruments, this is actually a technical limitation. Transitioning from one note to another is simple enough, but transitioning from many notes to many other notes? well. That's not going to be as easy to solve technically in a way that might create realistic representations of musical performances. But, you know, that said, there are actually several companies that offer legato instruments that are polyphonic. That is, they have the ability to play more than one note at a time, while still generating a legato articulation. Let's look at just a few and see how they work and sound. Because I'm already on a choir kick, let's look at Strezov Sampling's Choir Essentials, which is a very affordable but powerful set of polyphonic choral vocal instruments that pulls from their many broader vocal libraries. As I play, listen to the melisma that bridges the gap between notes. Nice, right? Like before, you need to play the notes either overlapping or in this case very close together so that the software understands you want to connect them. And as you could hear, those legato articulations are so helpful in sounding believable as a real choir of human voices. Next, let's look at the Vienna Symphonic Library Synchrone Prime Edition. While VSL has a vast array of offerings, if you're looking for a library of polyphonic legato strings, woodwinds, and brass instruments, this is a great place to start. Let's listen to some horns. It's maybe not as obvious as some of those really slurred articulations we looked at before, but these sometimes subtle connections have a real impact on believability. And as you can see, depending on the instrument, VSL offers several different kinds of musical techniques along with their legato options, and you can switch between them. Here's an example of an oboe switching between musical techniques through these key switches, and it has an effect on the legato articulation as well. Finally, let's look at one last example of polyphonic legato instruments. In this case, we're going to check out Impact Soundworks Tokyo Scoring Strings, a beautiful sounding strings library built with Japan's top recording engineer and with a distinctive sound you might recognize if you're a fan of anime, as the samples used in this library were performed by the very same world famous Koichiro Maroya Strings. Now that is a wonderful sound that would be a lot more challenging to create without the help of polyphonic legato articulations. You might not have noticed, but there was actually a lot of complex interaction happening there. If you keep an eye on the circular area in the upper left, you can see that as I play, depending on my velocity, different articulations are triggered.
I'm honestly floored by how intuitive the interaction is and how smoothly it moved between the different articulations. I think it's also worth pointing out that there's a look-ahead system for delivering more accuracy and triggering articulations, and you can also get into deeper controls for deciding what triggers what articulation. Look, I don't mean to gush, but dang. All of that said, depending on the instrument, you may find that there are trade-offs for using monophonic versus polyphonic legato instruments in terms of the articulation. And you know, you might find that you like the results better if you do the extra work of splitting up your harmonies into separate monophonic performances on different tracks, especially if you want more of those exaggerated musical slurs. But as you just heard, being able to play legato chords or harmonies together like this could sound really good while also saving a lot of time. So they're absolutely worth exploring. As always, I hope that this helps you in your work. If you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter. Once again, I'm Aaron Rabinowitz. Thanks for watching.